Can you grab that program? Audio check one two three. 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 All right, we're good. Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. You're watching the game tonight, or this afternoon, between Fort Collins and Lampkins and the Vista Ridge, whatever their last names are. Nickname, I should say. The Wolves. Andrew Corner with the quick three. It's going to be up and no good. It's going to be rebounded to the Vista Ridge. Almost a turnover, but Lampkins retained defensive. Possession. That didn't make any sense. All right. Checking the lineups. We've got Joe Cunningham, Jace King, Jamar Mitchell, Luke Wagstaff, and Andrew Corner in the game for the Lampkins. Facing the Vista Ridge team that's 2-0 and and likes to take a lot of threes. Down to Jamar Mitchell. Give and go to Cunningham. Looking underneath. Nothing there. A turnover. Up ahead, 23 has the ball, bumped by Wagstaff, shot up and good. 23 is Tyson Monk, Monk, 6'3 senior, scored 18 points against Poudre the other night. He has a quick five here for Mr. Ridge. Down to Wagstaff, they're in a 2-3 zone. And that's because they're going to have to shoot him out of it if they want to. First three on the way for Jace King is no good over the back, but they don't call it over to Wagstaff. Not good, stays with it. Luke Wagstaff with two points. Wild shot, no good. Rebounded to Wagstaff up to Mitchell. Drives, tries to penetrate the zone, does. Shot up, and not good. Going the other way. Just underway here, six to... About six minutes left to go in the first quarter. Vista Ridge up 5-2. And shot, no good. Rebound, Jamar. Out to Andrew. Over to Cottingham. In the corner, Jace King for a three. No good again. Rebound, Wagstaff. Jump hook. Oh, in and out. Won't fall. Rebound, so. Two points with Luke Wagstaff. So Luke has a quick four points and about four rebounds. We'll say three. Joe has a rebound. Jamar has a rebound. So quick timeout for Vista Ridge. This is 5.48 left in the first quarter. Vista Ridge coach didn't like what he saw, so he called a quick timeout to settle the troops. Hopefully the Lampkins can keep them uncomfortable. Keep pushing the pace. So it's going to be Vista Ridge ball underneath. Lampkins are going to be half court man. Moving around over to Monk. We get him. Shot short. Rebound corner. Push it up to Cottingham. This transitions well. Wagstaff's going to try a three-point shot, and it's a no good. Rebound Cottingham. Luke's going to try again. Nope, he drives. Takes the clock. Two points in the basket. I mean, two points in the foul. Shot up and no good. Pop by Jamar, but no rebound. 
Number two is Garrett Lawrence, a five t five foot eleven senior, who dragged his foot, but then they throw it out of bounds. So second lineup, number three is Caleb Kelly, six foot three senior for Vista Ridge. Now they're going to pull out and do a little bit of a man man zone trap. Jamar with the shot, no good. Rebound goes to Vista Ridge, number twelve. Quinn McDonald, Maldonado, I'm sorry. Block by Cottingham. Good recovery on defense. Pass inside to Mount. Baby Hook is going to be good. Who's their score, I'm guessing. He has all six and seven of their points. Mr. Ridge trying to trap. They have got numbers they want to. Right to the middle of the black staff, brings it down, shit enough, but got away with it. Two points. Keep the ball high, young man. Made up for it anyway and got the two points. So Luke has all eight of four Collins points, so it's a battle between black staff and Kelly at this point. Monk with the drive shot, fouled by Cottingham. Got him on the arm, so two. Two free throws are going to go to Tyson Monk. First shot on the way is going to be short. 4-0-4 left in the first period. Just getting settled here. Second shot attempt is going to be good. So tied up at 8. Mr. Ridge is trying to play a trapping zone, and Fort Collins is not sure. Andrew Corner and Bonds along with Jace. Another back in a 1 2 2 zone. Oh, that's a 1 3 1. I don't know. Scratch that, it's a man zone. Jace is going to take the 23 footer. It's going to be short. By Kelly, no good. Rebound in the corner. Shot up and good. Working the ball around. Ball on Andrew. It's going to be this Ridge ball in the corner. Okay. We're going to take a break for technical difficulties. We'll be right back.
Testing one, two, three. Seems fine. I apologize for having audio or technical difficulties, but I think we're good at this point. Check and see if it's working. Working the ball underneath the Kelly. Ball and Andrew. One second while we organize things here and see if we're good on the technical difficulties. Are we good? I think we're good. I think our technical difficulties have been worked out, hopefully. Apologize if anything happened that you guys missed any action. Sorry about that. But I think we're good at this point. Checking in. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Fort Collins holds a 15-8 to eight lead. Looks like Mr. Ridge is going to hold for the last shot. Monk pulls up. From about 17 feet, nothing but that. So at the end of one, it's going to be Fort Collins 15, Mr. Ridge 10. Okay, so competitive game so far. Clearly, the this Ridge Wolves are led by 23 Tyson Monk, 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 volume shooter, making them all. And the Lampkins are led by what I have for stats right now. I'm missing two points from somebody because we're working through some technical difficulties. But I got Luke Wagstaff with, th with eight points, Joe Cunningham with three, and Andrew Corner with two. I'll try to find the missed basket that we had and see. We'll sync it up at halftime. Out on the court for the Lampkins is going to be number two, Jace King, number three, Alex Guzman, number 42, Jamar Mitchell, number 21, Joe Cottingham and number 33, Luke Wagstaff. Four Collins ball inbound the King. Man to man defense. 
Clock didn't start right away, so now that they've worked it out. Collins will take the ball out again. Reset the offense. Cunningham gets it down into Wagstaff. He's going to be double teamed. Skip past the King. He's going to drive. No, nothing there. Cunningham's going to drive. Gets it over to Guzman. Out to Wagstaff. He's going to. I thought he was going to shoot. Chase King shoots for three. Good. Three points, Chase King. Nice looking shot from the top of the key. Drops. Gets the ridge working the ball around. Backdoor cut off the hands of Caleb Kelly. is going to be a turnover of Lampkin Ball. King brings the ball up. Working around the wag staff. Swings it. King for three again. Good. Jace King's heating up. Six points in a row for King. Nice looking shot out there. He was a little bit off the first couple shots, but he's found his range. Mr. Ridge working the ball against this man-to-man zone. Monk with this three-point shot. It's going to be short. Doesn't get the roll. Wax up with the rebound. King's going to push. No numbers there. Four on five. Trailers Wagstaff, he tries to pull up, he almost walked. King's going to try three, heat check. Three! Three threes in a row. King is on fire. 24 to 10 with 6.30 left in the second quarter. On the strength of the nine straight points by Jace King. Almost picks up foul, gets a turnover. Shoot it. Get it back to him. You got to heat check that, Jace. Over to Cottingham, over to Jamar. Working it to Alex. Looking for Jace. Down to Wagstaff. Turns, spins. Reverse layup is not going to be good. It's going to be rebounded to Vista Ridge. Got to find the hot hand here, dudes. Vista Ridge working the ball. Pump fake. Dribble drive. Shot up and good. Two points. Garrett Lawrence. King works the ball to Guzman. He's trying to find Cottingham inside. Nothing there. Works with the King down to Wagstaff. He's double teamed. Give and go to Mitchell. Two points to Mar Mitchell. Good teamwork. Way to pass the ball. Triple drive. Nothing there. Thought about the three. Decides against it. Wagstaff on Kelly. Nothing there. Mr. Ridge is patient with it. Finally, oh, I thought he's going to pull it. Monk sets it up. Double teams. Tiny can try for the turnover. Grabs it. Should be a travel. Lampkin ball. 4:53 left in the first four, or in the first half. From 15. Donovan Hill checks in. He's a 6'1 senior for Vista Ridge. King brings it up. Looks over to Mitchell. Working around the Cottingham. They're very patient. Looking down low to the Wagstaff. Skip past the Cottingham on the wing. He's wide open. No shot. I mean, he shoots it, but it's no good. Rebound Vista Ridge. Monk looking back. Passes over for the three-point shot. Good. Quentin Maldonado with the three. King takes the ball. He should look for a shot. He made three hundred threes in a row. He might as well shoot it for a heat check, but we got a foul down low on the guy who just came in the game. Donovan Hill. Pushed Cunningham in the back as he tried to post up. Four fifteen left in the quarter. Lampkin's in ball the ball to Wagstaff. Pump fake drives out the Guzman for a wide open three. No good. Rebound Wagstaff. Power dribble, layup, two points to Luke Wexab. Collins feeling good about themselves at this point in the game. Closes him out. Turnover, Chase King has the ball. He looked to push, but pulled back. He's 
There's no numbers there. Dribble drive. Pulls up from 18. Good. Jace can't miss. The pull-up jumper. Silky smooth. Cunningham Garden. Monkro hard at this point. He's their scorer. He might as well stick to him. They're doing whatever they can to get that kid open. Oh, they call a foul. Controversial call. Coach Dick can't believe it. Monk to the line for two shots. First one on the way is good. Augustin Rivera checks in for the Wolves. And the second shot goes for Cal or for Monk. Brings the score 30 to 17 with just over three minutes left in the quarter. Cottingham on the drive. Gives it up to Mitchell. Got to find King. He's hot. Take the shot, dude. He walked. Good thing he didn't. Didn't have much on that shot. He must have known he got called for a walk. Timeout for Collins. So Jace King was on fire there for a stretch. Checking in the game for the Lampkins will be number one, Nicky McGuire. Checking in for Alex uh, uh, Guz, Guz, Guzman, I think. Anyway, if you're keeping track at home and you watched the game last time, you saw that Coach Dick doesn't like to sit down. Looks like they pulled some chairs. They had way too many last game, so they only have a few. He may only have one seat to sit in if he even wants to. Hopefully it wasn't this, this guy's fault. Either way, he won't sit anyway. So with 3.02 left in the second quarter, Four Collins holds a 13-point lead. Team fouls, Four Collins has 14 fouls. The surge has five, so neither team is in serious jeopardy to get into the one and one before the end of the period, but you never know. You can pick up two quick fouls or three quick fouls at any time. So let's check the lines. We have Cottingham coming in, Jace King, Nikki, Jamar, and Luke. Collins stays in their man-to-man -man defense. Down to Monk. Takes the drive on Wagstaff. Shot up and good. Took it right at the 6'8 center. No fear. Of course, that dude's like 6'5", 6'3". Nicky's in the corner looking for a shot. Nothing there over to Cunningham. Swings it. Down low to Wagstaff. Spin move, not there. Twenty-three is six foot three. He took it right at the six foot eight guy last time. Now he's going to shoot the three-point shot. Looks pretty good, not good. Up rebound to Nikki. He's going to push over to Jamar. Nothing there. Luke Wax. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot the three. Not there. Nikki's a corner three. This is a double dribble. He didn't want the corner three. Double team in the post. Got Nicky up in front to drive the shot. It's off. It's going to be rebounded by Monk, who's going to bring it up himself. 150 left in the first half. Fort Collins playing some staunch defense. Looking for the backdoor cut. His Vista Ridge It's not there. Looks like they're just passing and screening away. Looking for 23 when he's open. Fall on Vista Ridge. Looks like he has a moving screen. Checking back into the game for Vista Ridge is going to be Caleb Kelly. 129 left in the first quarter. Gosh, I'm sorry. First half, it's second quarter. What am I thinking? Over to Jamar, looking down low, not there. 
over to Nikki. Look inside to Luke. He's got it. Nothing there. He's going to get doubled. No, he's power dribble. Fade away. Not good. Clicked out. Rebound with to Luke in the Jace King's hands. Swinging it to Nikki over to Jamar. Cutting through. Lampkins are patient on offense. Jamar looking for the one on one move. 15 foot shots. Not going to be good, but Luke's with the rebound. Dips it in. Two points to the Quakes. Mr. Ridge input or brings it up over to Kelly looking for Monk not there. Right into Jamar tip. Not good. It's gonna be a foul on Mr. Ridge to set the screen again. Lawrence had the moving screen. That's the second time in a row. They called a hold, but moving screen. So thirty four seconds left in the second quarter. Or Collins up by 13 in the bonus. But that was the player control foul, so they don't shoot the one and one Coach Dick is beside himself trying to figure out why we're not shooting a one on one Lampkins look like they're going to hold for the last shot. 20 seconds left in the half. Mr. Rich trying to play their matchup one, their matchup man. Or it's kind of a matchup zone. Ten seconds left. Jamar drives. Fouled over to King. Luke's going to shoot the shot at the, at the buzzer. Three-pointer is good. It's the end of the first half. The buzzer didn't work, so I'm not sure what's going on. But at halftime, it is Fort Collins Lampkins 35. This the Ridge Wolves 19 in a spirited affair. We'll take a break. Unmuted.
Half time here at the Lamb Shack. Four Collins in control of this game pretty easily by 16, up 35 to 19. It's been a fast paced game quickly. First half didn't take too long at all. Looking at the stats right now, I'm missing two points from somebody, so I apologize right away. But the leading score for the Lampkins is going to be Luke Wagstaff with 15. Jason King got hot there in the second quarter. He scored 11. Joe Cunningham with three. Jamar with two. And Andrew Corner with two. I apologize if you tuned in earlier and we had some technical difficulties, but we're good now. Teams are just warming, or just coming out of the locker room. We're going to get warmed up, and it is, we're going to start the second half here in about three minutes. So for all you mathematicians out there, yes, I do know that I'm missing two points. I got 33 here, but we were trying to run some tests and. Doggone it, I missed the basket. What are you going to do? Hopefully the Lampkins can keep it going in the second half. They're not having too much trouble with the matchup zone that the, uh, the Vista Ridge Wolves are trying to employ on them. Don't seem to have too much trouble, but that was in large part because when they double down on Luke, they leave a guy open and King couldn't miss. Did three threes in a row. And Luke's doing a good job of looking in opposite wing. When he gets the ball down in the low post, he's looking for the opposite wing, and that's always wide open. So we'll see if this is a ridge adjusts to that in the second half. But if they're going to double him, obviously they're going to leave one guy open, and we've been... Lampkins have been able to find that guy, so we can see how it continues in the second half. Mr. Ridge, I didn't keep their stats, unfortunately, but they're led by number 23, Tyson Monk, six foot three senior. He's definitely leading their scoring barrage. He is at least half their points, maybe more. Checking the Game they played against Pooter. Mr. Ridge comes in 2-0. and They played Pooter on Wednesday night. I believe it was Wednesday. And won 49-43. And then they beat Wednesday last night by a couple... Well, I think it's about 9 points. 64-55, I think it was. Just going off of memory. I didn't get the stats for the Windsor game against Mr. Ridge, but Max Preps didn't have them updated. But from the Pooter game, Monk was their leading scorer with 18 points and... Caleb Kelly had chipped in with 13. <clears throat> they didn't score a ton that night. Excuse me. 49 points is not a ton in a basketball game, and looks like they're going to have to work hard to get it to there tonight, so or this afternoon. Hopefully the Lampkins can stay hot from the outside and keep them out of that. Keep them, keep them honest on their zone. You want to do the camera? It's on. Oh. <laughs> Kathleen McGuire taking up for the camera. This could be interesting. May or may not, this may or may not be a good idea. She fired Billy. I didn't do it this time. Mr. Ridge getting the ball. Gets it into Lawrence. Poor Collins stays in their man-to-man -man defense. Back cut. Looks like somebody got held. Foul on Jace King. Mr. Ridge takes the ball out underneath. Looking for the cut. Lampkins cut it off. Working the ball around. They're trying to reset their offense. Monk with the ball. Likes to shoot the three. Patient with the ball is Mr. Ridge. Closing him out is Cottingham. He's got him in trouble. Hand off to Kelly. 
over to Monk. Corner on him. Set by Kelly, right into the teeth of Luke Wagstaff. Kelly with the drive, shot up, no good. It's going to be a foul on Andrew Corner. Two shots on Andrew's third foul. Let's say called that on Jace. I can't. That may have been on Jace. He either put up a two for Jace or five for Andrew. Either way, Kelly goes to the line for two shots. First shot on the way is good. Checking into the lineup for the Wolves is number 11, Ethan Rasmussen. He's a six foot one senior. Kelly's second shot is short. It's going to be rebounded by corner. King brings the ball up, looking around, see who he can find open. Hand off the Cottingham over to Jamar. Andrews looking for Luke down low. Let's see if they bring the double team. They don't. Spins out of it. Power move. Two points in the basket. Or two points in the foul, I should say. Wagstaff with the power move. Gets the easy lay in. And the foul. Strong man. He may not be able to jump over a phone book, but he's strong. Free throws on the way and good. Just kidding about the phone book thing, Luke, if you listen later. He had a dunk last game. Oh, good defense by the Lampkins. Lawrence with the drive, trying to do an acrobatic shot. Nothing there. Luke with the rebound. He's going to outlet it. Nobody came back for it. He's just going to take it himself. Over to King. He takes a drive. Over to Cottingham. Hands off to Jamar. Mitchell with the 16-footer is going to be short. Rebound's going to go to the Vista Ridge. They're going the other way. No numbers, so they decide to pull it out and see what they can get. Of course, Lawrence is going to take, the, take it all the way, but Cottingham got him on the floor. I believe that's Joe Cottingham's first foul of the game. He was on the ground, so it's going to be out of bounds underneath for Vista Ridge. Trying to get it into Kelly to pump a nice shot. Doesn't go corner with the rebound. I'll let the king. He's got no numbers. It's going to be four on two with five on two with four Collins in the deficit. So he smartly pulls it out, sets up the offense, gets it over to Wagstaff. He's going to dribble drive. Nice use of the left hand. Won't fall. Bonked and out of bounds. It's going to be four Collins ball off Mr. Ridge. Jamar coming in. Easy basket, Jamar Mitchell. Good out of bounds play. They snuck behind the defense and they didn't see him coming. 40 to 20 with 5.50 left in the third quarter. Lampkins in control. Monk with the shot. Left handed, not good. Rebound, Luke. They just slow it down. Somebody's got to come back for the ball once in a while for Luke. Works with the King. Download him for Jamar. Fadeaway shot from 16. It's not going to be good. Rebound's going to go to Kelly. He's going the other way. Looking to push. Out the Monk. No shot. Ooh, almost threw it away, but they recovered. A lot of switching in there. Jamar ends up on Monk. Set shot for three. Not good. Rebound Jamar. King's going to push it up. He's got Cottingham in the corner if he, unless he takes it himself. Kicks it out to Cottingham. Over to Mitchell, over to Andrew. Luke pump fakes, dribble drives, swarmed by four guys, has guys open. Into Jamar, over to the corner. King for three in the corner is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to off four Collins. This is Luke Wagstaff. It's going to be Vista Ridge ball. Four forty-eight left in the third quarter. Vistridge working the ball. Down by 20 and no hurry to shoot the ball, so that's in favor of the Lampkins. But they're disciplined and they don't care to take a bad shot, so give them credit. Back cut, not there. Oh, look, recovered. Two points. Caleb Kelly. First at the 
The Lampkins tipped it, but nothing availed to get the turnover. Cottingham with the drive, the float, the shot. Tipped by Luke Wagstaff is good. And we have a timeout on Vista Ridge. The coach is not liking how this is turning out here. Okay. When they score, you got to do this. In that point. So change that to 42. Keep going. So with 240 or 254 left in the third quarter, it's going to be Lampkins 42, Broomfield 24. Better get Luke a break. He's been struggling to get up and down the court. Let's see if they take him out for a blow. Nope, they don't. Into the game for the Lampkins is number one, Nikki McGuire. Checks in for Joe Cottingham. Looks like they're going to try to do a full court man, but they drop in the half court again. Inbound ball to Vista Ridge. Over to Monk. He's going to take the baseline. Cut off. Tip. He's going to go to the back. Four Collins ball. Ball to handle. Took the bump. Didn't feel real good about it. And Alex Guzman's in the game. Checks it for Nikki. King brings the ball up. Guzman looked like he wanted to shoot it, but pulls back over the corner. King sets up, looking underneath. Up to Luke at the high post, looking in the corner to Alex Guzman. Shot up is going to be no good. Rebound, Vista Ridge. Coach Valdez over there by Blue Gasket. They wouldn't get back. I thought he was going to pop a vein in his forehead or something. Take it easy, Coach. 
Shot up is just going to be short. Rebound tomorrow. Two on two if he wants to take it to the hoop, he can. He does. Turn around jump shot from 10. Not good. Chase almost had the rebound. Taken out of his hands. It's going to be the other way. Monk looking for a crease. Nothing there. Caleb, Kelly was looking like he's going to shoot a three. Sides against it. Christopher pulls back into their defense. Shut up. It's going to be good. Three point shot. Tyson Monk cuts the deficit to 15 with 140 left in the third quarter. Looks good. Triple team. They call a foul on somebody. It looked like he, I thought they were going to call him for a touch in the baseline, but he didn't. Only the third team foul for Vista Ridge, so it's going to be out of bounds underneath. Over to Luke. He's getting double teamed, and he gets fouled again. Caleb Kelly with the foul. Two quick fouls. Luke brought it low, and he went after it like he should, but hit more arm than he hit ball. Over to Luke. Keeps the high this time. Shoots it. Did a great job of keeping it high, but it doesn't go. Lawrence with the dribble. Reverse layup's no good. Rebound to Alex Guzman. He's going to take himself. Luke's got to get up and down the court. Come on, bro. Coach might want to think about giving a couple of these guys a blow. Luke's played the whole game. Jason's played the whole game. Morris and Andrews played most. Well, Andrew was in the foul trouble the first half. So, King with the pull-up shot. It's going to be good. Nice shot. Two. 50 seconds left in the quarter. It's going to be a foul on Jace King. He's get, get tied up in there with the Mr. Rich player, and they called it on Jace. In the game for the... Lampkins is going to be Nicky for Jace. I think that's Jace's third foul. 46 seconds left in the half, or the quarter. Shot up and no good. Rebound to Alex. Controlled. Over to Andrew. They don't have to be in any hurry to take this last shot. It's only 30... 30 seconds left in the quarter. Vista Ridge is going to sit back in that zone and not worry about it. Then Four Counts can feel free to take the last shot. Now they engage a little bit. 20 seconds left in the half, or the quarter, I'm sorry. Over to Andrew. Trying to double him. What they do? Nikki with the steal. Oh. Nikki with the great defensive play. Tried to get the ball, but he was out of bounds and reestablished himself. Kelly had a breakaway layup, and Nicky stripped him right before he could get it up in the air. So 5.9 seconds left in the quarter. Luke's going to get a break, so that's good. He's struggling to get up and down the court. He's exhausted. Cade now more into the game for the Lampkins. 5.9 seconds left in the quarter. Monk with the good look at it. Three-point shot at the buzzer. Well, with three seconds left. Andrew's going to take the three-quarter court shot. It's going to come up short. So at the end of three quarters, it's going to be four Collins, 44, Vista Ridge, 30. Feel free to use live chat if you have any questions. We'll be monitoring it as we go through. Looks like Coach Dick's going to go with the starters for the start of the fourth quarter. Hopefully Luke got enough break because he was having a hard time getting up and down the court a little bit. But he's a big part of their offense, and if you can't get set up, then it's going to be a problem. But it's only the second game of the year for the Lampkins. He's not going to be in tip-top shape. None of these guys are. It's where they're going to be in a month from now. So Mr. Ridge has 30 points. They scored... 11 in that third quarter. Hopefully another 11 in Lampkins win. They only get into 41 points for all you mathematicians out there. Where Collins had a little bit of a rough go in the third quarter with only nine points. 
but they were up 16 and now they're up 14, so they're holding a the double-digit lead, which is really good. Lineup for the Lampkins are going to be the starters. King, Corner, Cottingham, Mitchell, and Wagstaff. And they need to start the clock because Aragon forgot again. There they get it going. Working it around. Lampkins don't need to be in any hurry. If they're not going to get pressured. They should just run a little bit of, not a stall game, but just pass it around like they're doing. Run some clock. Up by 14, they shouldn't be in any hurry to get a shot off. They could do exactly what they should do. Take the air out of the ball a little bit. Wex have a turnaround shot. He's triple team, but he's got the shot off anyway. Tomorrow with the rebound in his back. Put back. Two points to Tamar Mitchell. Lawrence quickly around Cottingham. He's going to be hammered. I don't know who they're going to call that. I think they got three people to choose from. It's going to be two shots for Lawrence. It's going to be following Luke. I believe that's his first foul of the game. So Garrett Lawrence at the line for two shots. First shot on the way is good. Couple subs in. Mr. Ridge doesn't even care to rebound this free throw. Then, but this kid must be automatic from the line. Oh, uh, and he gets the roll. Two more points for Mr. Ridge. King brings the ball up, looking for Cottingham. Again, Collins doesn't have to be in any hurry. I'm gonna collapse on Luke. He's gonna up and under. He's bringing that ball down too low, bro. Recovers, gets the basket, gets the roll. Keep that ball up high, Luke. They can't stop you. Can't stop him anyway, but bring that ball down for the guards and they're going to take it from you. Andrew with the tough defense. They're going to give him a call. He bodied him. Missed shot, but Monk is going to go to line for two. I believe that's Andrew's fourth foul. 6.42 left in the game. He should be okay. First free throw attempt is good. Get it updated. Second shot on the way is good as well. Checking the crowd, there's literally tens of people here. Must be a popular thing to do on Saturday afternoons is not to go to a Fort Collins basketball game. But a lot of good television on today with football and college basketball going on. The diehards are here, though. Kelly with the jump shot, jump stop, I mean. Got cut up by Mitchell. Goes Monk, he's coming around. He's going to try to post up. Doesn't do it. Over to Lawrence. We're going to have a foul inside. It's going to be a charge, a moving screen on. The, see what they call it on. If I can see the numbers. I think they called number five, maybe 15. Couldn't tell. I think they may have called that a... No, they don't have a five out there. I'm not sure who they call it. Doesn't matter. It's going to be four Collins ball. Corner gets it in a wax tap. Over to Cottingham. Reverse. They're going to reset. Wax tap. Corner to corner. Shot up and no good. Great rebound by Cottingham. Undercut. It's going to be a foul on Mr. Ridge. It should be one and one. Nope. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. They have six. So one more foul for each team, and the other team goes into the one and one. Pass out to Luke, who's wide open, drives in, layup, bump, no foul, and fight for the ball. Nothing there. Monk brings the ball up against King. Hands off to Kelly. Hands off to Lawrence. He's going to launch a three-point shot. It's going to be good. Cuts the lead to 11. 5.30 left in the quarter. Coach Dick's not going to get 
let the referee go by without a without a discussion. Luke with a quick move, pump fake, it hammered, foul, two shots. Coach Dickinson, I'm gonna grind on the wrestling mode. Oh my gosh. Do we see this? Coach Dick took a seat. They had a, they had a chair reserved for him and he took the seat. Unbelievable. I'm glad we have this on film. First free throw attempt by Wagstaff is no good. See how long he stays down. It's a momentous occasion at the Lamb Shack tonight. Five nineteen left in the fourth quarter. Coach Dick took a seat. Let's see how long he stays down. Luke makes this basket. 49-37. Cottingham's going to D it up. Oh, Andrew almost got a hand on it. Nothing there. Funk with the drive. 15-foot shot is going to be good. This kid can shoot. Hand in his face doesn't matter. He's his player. I don't know how many points he has. I wish I was keeping score for or stats with them because he's got a lot of them. In the black staff. Quick move. He bump. It's off his leg. It's going to be Pistol Ridge Ball. Two. He'll make it up. Pistol Ridge bring the ball up. Triple drive right into Jamar. Shot up and good. You just give him one. There we go. Mr. Rich got some deficit to eight. Their fans come alive. They may have more fans for Mr. Rich here than we have Lampkin fans. Which could be a sad state of affairs. Andrew with the cut. Gets it out to Luke. Jace brings it out. Poor Collins needs to realize they're up by eight points and they can just settle it down and roll it. Coach Dick with the timeout. Good, good, that's a good use of a timeout. Or 12 left in the contest. We have 49-41 Lampkins. I'm pretty sure if I'm looking at the crowd, there's about 50 people here. And about 40 of them are, Lam are uh, Mr. Ridge fans. Just ballparking here. Now, there may be 75 people here, but Two-thirds of them are Vista Ridge fans. The Lamb Shack is not getting their home home crowd here. So, 4-12 left in the fourth quarter. Lampkins do not need to be in any hurry to score the ball. They have to realize they're up by, I'm sure your coach is just telling them they're up by eight. And not to get in any hurry if Mr. Ridge is going to sit back in that zone and wait for the Lampkins to make a move, then we can run some clock. But a good use of a timeout to settle the troops. So out of bounds for the Lampkins, it's going to be their starters. In the king. Mr. Ridge has decided they're going to pick him up a little bit tighter, man. Over to Andrew. Cunningham has the ball looking underneath. Got wax stuff on a shorter guy if he wants him. Luke flies high. Don't bring that ball low, Luke. When he doesn't, it gets kicked. If it's going to be a four Collins ball, he got away with it. But bring that ball low, and that the shorter guy's going to get it. Out of bounds play. Looking for wax stuff. Got hammered. They're going to call it on Luke. It's going to be, it should be a player control foul, so it should. It was player control. They're not going to give him one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, bro. The referee thought for a second about one-on-one, -on -one, but then realized he was wrong, and the Lampkin Sports Network was right. Monk dribble drives, looking around, trying to find Kelly. He's going to shoot the long three-point shot. It's going to be off. It's going to be rebound to Wagstaff. Settle down. Just 320 left in the game. Lampkins do not have to be in any hurry. Over to Cunningham. Just set up your offense and run it. Take it easy, guys. Over to Jamar. Corner. Over to Wagstaff. 
Foul. He's going to go to the line for one and one. Looks normally a pretty solid free throw shooter. Been a bit of a rough go tonight. Let's see how he, if he can cash in a couple free throws here. First free throw attempt is off. This is going the other way. Monk's going to look to drive him. Hands off. Over to Kelly. Pump fake. Nothing there. Monk with the drive. Stolen by corner. It's one on two. He needs to pull it back out. Took too many steps. So a turnover by the Lampkins. 2.43 left in the game. Lampkins decide to pick up some minimal pressure, but fall out of it pretty quickly. Kelly with the drive. Push off, but they didn't call it. Here comes Lawrence with the bump. Block. It's going to be out of bounds on the Lampkins. Visceridge ball. Good help side defense by Jamar. Blocks the shot. 2.32 left in the game. Uh, four, five, blow the whistle, ref. Nice shot by Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry, Monk. Drains the three. Tough shot. Drains it, brings it to within five. So, 2.27 left in the game. It's going to be Fort Collins 49, Bissridge 44. Lampkins can feel free to get aggressive if they want to because they're going to need it. This ridge is going to start falling pretty soon. Kind of a chippy game a little bit, but not too bad. But a little push and shove and never hurt anybody. So whoever took the thick four columns must have taken the timeout. So there's a full timeout. So it was. They'll stick with the starters. And they do. So four Collins balls. They're going to get full court pressure here. Or nominal full court. Not really any full court pressure. They're just going to let it get in. Oh, now they come out of it. Andrew's going to take the ball. He's got the whole lane if he wants it. Layup, no good. Foul. Hit the ground hard. Hopefully he's all right. Two shots. Collins wants to win this game. They're going to have to make their free throws. Let's see how Andrew does on the line. First uh, free throw attempt is on the way in. Good. That's what they needed. So, 221 left in the game. Andrew's second shot is going to be good as well. That's how you do it. If you want to win this game, hit the free throws. You hit two in a row, and that's solid. Somebody needs to guard the ball. Cunningham fell for the oldest trick in the book. Over to Monk. Gets his Lawrence is going to drive into the trees. Kelly pump fakes. Jumps, step back three. It's going to be up and no good. Rebound to Jamar Mitchell. Ball. 2.07 left in the, sec in the second half. Should be a free throw. I don't know what they're doing. It's been one and one. It's two shots now. It's a double bonus, and they're trying to say that it was out of bounds. These guys are crazy. When in doubt, look to your left up here, guys. I got the, all the information you need. Jamar Mitchell going to the line. Should be two shots. First free throw attempt is good. Second shot on the way is good. So the Lampkins hitting their free throws to go back to a nine-point lead. 
Cunningham with the tight defense. Hand off the bunk. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Vista Ridge Wolves. 157 left in the game. Lawrence inbounds at the bunk. He takes a turnaround shot. No, the rim is not kind. Out the corner. He can push it if he wants, but smartly he pulls it back out. Mr. Ridge is going to try to foul. Oh, nice pass into Jamar Mitchell. Two points to Lampkins. 140 left, and the Lampkins go up by 11. Out of bounds. It's going to be four counts ball. All signs are pointing to a Lampkin victory at this point. Still 137 left in the game, though. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Inbound to Wagstaff. Over to Jace. They're going to start fouling here pretty soon. Like right now, he got fouled twice. Finally call it. So let's see. It's going to be Andrew Corner to the line. With a buck 31 left in the game. First free throw attempt is up. It looks short. It is. Breaks the streak of four free throws in a row made by the Lampkins. That's all right, though. We're still up 11. Andrew settles in. Second free throw attempt is going to be good. Lawrence bringing it up. Looking for Monk. Guarded tightly by a corner who fouls him. It's going to be one and one. Tyson Moncton line. It's going to be a one and one with a minute 24 left in the quarter. First free throw attempt is going to be good. Kids can shoot it. Second shot on the way is good. It's going to bring the score to a 10-point game. This ridge falls off of their full court. They're going to go to a one through one trapping zone. Four cons get the ball to the middle like they should. They got numbers as they put it. Andrew, nice pass. Jamar, no good. Joe Cunningham with the rebound and shot. Foul. Took it to the teeth. They got it to the middle of that one through one trap. Kicked it back out and they had numbers. That's how it gets done. Cottingham to the line for two. First shot on the way is short. One eleven left in the quarter. Or in the ball game, however you want to slice it. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Second free throw attempt is good. Monk takes it right to the teeth of the corner. It's going to be a charge. Andrew has position. Took it right in the chest and got the charge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good defense there. Tripped him. Corner's going to go to the line for two with a minute six left. Holding an 11 point lead. See if Andrew can cash him in. First shot attempt on the way is good. Andrew's hitting these free throws tonight. And he makes the second one. Didn't jinx him, and he comes through. That's how you win a ball game. One minute left in the quarter. One minute left, and it's going to be... Tipped off with four counts. It's going to stay with Vista Ridge. Going to inbound the ball. It's the monkey. He's going to try an impossible three. No, he decides to pull it out. Kelly with the three. Should point to that. It's going to be no good. Rebound goes to Joyce King, who skies above the crowd. 
45 seconds left in the game. Uh, and Luke Wexef gets fouled. He got hit right in the teeth. Good sportsmanship by number three. Tell me it wasn't intentional. He just got away from him. And Mr. Ridge looks like they're conceding the game. They got three of their main guys. With 41 seconds left and down by 13. Wex has gone to the line for two. First free throw attempt is good. Second shot is in and out. Rebound to Cottingham. Duncan's control it. 35 seconds left. They don't have to do anything if they don't want to. This ridge doesn't look like they care to do anything. Lampkins call timeout just to sub. It's going to be a quick timeout. They just want to get their starters off the, off the court. All right, so Coach Dick explained he wanted to time out just to sub. They don't really need to talk about anything. Got the starters out. End of the game for the Lampkins. Number one, Nicky McGuire. Number three, Alex Guzman. Number 30, Diego Sanchez-Ferguson. Number 25, Jackson Colstad. And number 20, Kate Nelmore. 25 seconds left in the game. Over to Colstad. Works around the Guzman. Looking over to Nicky. We're just going to work it. Diego's going to, or DeMarco, I'm sorry. He's going to work it. 12 seconds, 10, they're just going to run the clock out. He doesn't have to even move if he didn't want to. Just back it out. There you go. Good job, DeMarco. And there you have it, folks. It's a Lampkin victory. 60-46. A well-played game by both teams. Quality game. Lampkin showed they can play some defense, showed they can play some offense when they need to, hit their free throws down the stretch, and come away with the W. Appreciate you watching today. Our next broadcast will be Tuesday night as the Four Collins Lampkin take on Windsor Wizards right here at the Lamb Shack. 7 o'clock, or 6.30 game time, I believe. If it's any different, I'll let you know. But check your Twitter feed if you want. Lampkin Sports Network, or Lampkin Sports, is always on Twitter. And that's when we're going to be doing our next broadcast. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. You've been watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Lampkin's come away with a nice victory, 60-46. to 46. You've been watching us live on our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you so desire. We could use a few more subscribers. That's always a nice. So for all of us here at the Lampkin Sports Network, have yourself a great rest of your weekend. This has been a production of the Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Have yourself a great afternoon and a nice evening. Over and out.